So we have this problem at our cabin, specifically with our outhouse, in that all of the soil here is all sand. It's all really, really loose sand. And about once a year, we have to come out and redig the hole for our outhouse, which really sounds disgusting. It's not that bad. But it's not bad because it doesn't really fill up with waste per se. It fills up with sand. Yeah. You know, there's like... And the one, sand kind of acts like compost layers. Right. So the... once, a, once or twice a month, we come up here, we use it. And while we're not here, it fills up with sand this much. And yeah. then we come back and it fills up with this much sand again. So that's what happened to us because we haven't cleaned this out in, since last year sometime. Yeah. And the first time we did this, we thought about actually moving the outhouse until we dug and we realized it's not, it's, not just, it's not disgusting at all. It's basically just digging sand. Yes. And you've thought of different ideas on how to keep it from collapsing. Yeah, I've come up with a different couple, few different ideas. But if you guys have any suggestions for us on how to solve this problem, let us know. One of the ideas I came up with was getting a 24-inch culvert, like plastic culvert that you use to build driveways over top of uh, ditches. Yeah. And bury that down in about six or seven feet. But then what happens when that it's fills up? Right, because right. Then that's disgusting. Yes. Because right now, it's it while it's a chore, it's not gross when you have to do it. And if we put a, like some kind of barrier to keep it collapsing, then you're just handling like solid waste. Right. And so I don't know, but we're gonna tackle this project. Todd's gonna do all the dirty work and I'm here for support. But first we have to take everything that's in the outhouse out. Now that it's emptied out, we need to tip it over. We normally don't tip it all the way. We'll tip it like 60, 70 degrees and we'll prop it up with the board. So if you want to get on this side, I'll push it towards you. This side? Yeah, until we get it like to the point where you're the one kind of holding it. Mm -hmm. And then I'll come around and, and then I'll lower it down and then you put the board under. Oh. Okay, I'm holding. Are you okay? No, okay. It's gonna fall back, push it more. Well, I know because it seems heavier than I remember. Oh, you need help then? No, I think we might need a longer log. Okay, it's okay. It's not heavy on me at all. Okay. But... Go ahead and get the board. And try to put it up here where it's okay. like reinforced extra. Almost. Oops, it's not up high enough. Turn it sideways. Okay. Got it? It's under my finger. Oh. <laughs> Better? Told you. It's really not that gross. It's basically just, I mean, this is where the hole was, and it's basically filled with sand and wood chips. Yeah. Anytime we use it, we toss in a, a coffee cup full of wood chips on the bottom to help it naturally break down. And this is going to be no problem to dig out. Some of this wood that we had built. It's starting to rot out. In fact, it started to rot out part of the back of the outhouse, so we'll have to fix that, but that'll be another video some other day. There's like a critter hole. I think some kind of animal was living down in there. So these are the boards that we had at the back of the outhouse. The outhouse comes to about here. And we put a tarp across this. And then apparently we put dirt on there too, which wasn't a good idea because what it started to do is rot all the back of the outhouse because there was dirt covering this, this T111 siding. And it just rotted the two by fours in good shape still, but we rotted all this part out, which stinks. Shovel me, thanks. It's like powder. Don't hurt your back though. 
Once we get past the dry sand, it actually works easier to dig with the post hole digger. Well, I think we're done digging. It's a good, it's about this far past. <laughs> we're still learning. It's about this far past the ends of the shovels and it's getting to the point where it's really hard to dig now. So we're gonna call it done. And we were talking while we were doing this that we don't do this every year. It's probably every two years. Yeah. Or maybe every three years. It definitely years. wasn't last year that we did it. Because it, it took a long time to get to waste, honestly. There was so much caved in. And I really think it was from whatever animal had got under net there and built a home. Yeah. So we were talking about building this back up around the bottom with some two by sixes, some treated get the outhouse up higher off the ground so that it quits rotting from the moisture and then maybe patio blocking around the outside edges to keep animals from digging up underneath. Yeah. Or laying down chicken wire and then patio block or something like that. If you have suggestions, let us know. Right. Main is suggestion we need is how to stop the sand from collapsing. Is it worth it seeing how easy it was to clean it out? Or should we just continue to deal with this, I guess? Right, or to use a culvert or something like that, or let us know your ideas. Yep. Let's get this flipped back over. Okay. There we go. Nice. Okay, flip forward a little bit. So we'll show you guys the inside as well. On here is toilet paper storage, wood chips. We put in a coffee cup full of those after every time. Some potpourri for when it gets kind of stanky. It never really stinks though, so we don't really need it. A little hand sanitizer. And then this is where we keep our toilet paper. If you just leave your toilet paper sit out in the open, the creatures will come and take it and make nests out of it. We joke around that this is for the ladies' restroom because women end up using it more than the guys do. And the seat, a little squatty potty stump. Somebody get in here. Bye guys, see you on the next video.